whether you get an A, B, or C, as long as you're passing, that's what matters, like, honestly. Hey y'all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Sonye, and this channel is about me going through nursing school. Um, I'm currently in my first semester and soon to be in my second semester. This video is just going to be a few things that I wish I knew before starting nursing school. Not necessarily good or bad, just general things um, that I think are important to point out. Um, but before we get on with the video, I do want to say thank you guys so, so, so much for helping me surpass 700 subscribers. Like, wow. Thank you guys so much. We are less than 300 away from a thousand subscribers and I'm super excited about that. Um, remember, I will be doing a 1000 subscriber giveaway and I'll be giving more details once I am a little bit closer, maybe um, in the 800s. So I'll be giving more details on that. So on with the video. So the very first thing that I would say that I wish I knew before starting nursing school, I have my little list right here, um, is that yes, the work is hard, but it's doable work. It's it's not like impossible to do. And me, I see videos on TikTok that make it seem like nursing school is just so impossible. However, if nursing school was impossible, we wouldn't have nurses at all. So, you know, I just like expected it to be a lot harder. I would say for me, the hardest part was just the learning curve, like learning how to get into your groove, find your rhythm, how to study, such and such. Um, but yeah, the work, right, and I'm, I know I'm only in my first semester. However, the work is definitely doable. It is challenging. It can be hard. However, totally doable. You're, you know, you just gotta wanna do it, put in the work to learn. Um, and then you'll learn, you'll, you'll see that you enjoy learning about how to care for patients as a nurse. So that's just my two cents. The next thing that I wish I knew is that nursing school is expensive. Yeah, it's a lot of stuff you have to buy outside of tuition and things. So like you have to buy your textbooks, you have to buy supplies, you have to buy uniforms. However, uniforms are only, I mean, I'm going to wear these for the rest of my program. But everything else, like your textbooks, they change each semester because you'll be in different classes. Your supplies will change. Like for us, we have to get a different nursing kit. So because we're in J2 next semester, we have to get the J2 nursing kit. It's just another expense. And I was already looking at the prices for like the med search. It's like $230, give or take. And that's just med search. But that's another story. Um, yes it can be expensive which i guess it's an investment you'll be getting the money back when you become an rn however we're still in college right now like that's pricey so there goes my christmas everything for next semester moving on um the next thing i wish i knew was that Yes, A's are okay to strive for in nursing school. There's nothing wrong with that, especially if you've been a 4.0 student in pre-nursing, whatever. I was not, but um, you don't have to strive for an A because whether you get an A, B, or C, as long as you're passing, that's what matters, like, honestly. They say C's get degrees. I don't try to go by that motto because whenever like I'm applying to competitive jobs, I, I know they're gonna look at your GPA. However, I'm sure you getting a 4.0 versus a 3.3, 3.4, like I don't think that matters that much. So I'm not saying aim for a C, but 
as long as you know that you're putting in the work and effort and doing what you can, it's okay to not get an A. So like, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna end this semester with all Bs. I am totally fine with that. Um, one of my classes, I'm, I might get a C, we'll see how the final goes, but I'm not even tripping like, because I put in so much work this semester, like y'all. But again, it's okay to strive for an A. You don't need an A, just aim for above passing. But, you know, you don't have to overextend yourself because we're working hard for the, the grades that we are getting. So, you know, take pride in that, be happy, move on. Um, the next thing I wish I knew was that clinical is not really that intimidating like I thought it would be. Like as far as going into a patient room and introducing yourself, you're the student nurse, blah, blah, blah. Like they're just there to be helped. So they really don't care that you're a student. Like they care that you're a student, but they don't care that like you're brand new to this and stuff. Like I be walking up in those rooms like, hey, I'm your student nurse. Can I do your assessment? Um, can I do this and this? I'm gonna be giving you meds today, blah, blah, blah. Like, you gotta own the room when you walk in it. Your patients, like, don't care that you're a student, I promise you. So, don't be shy. Um, always ask your faculty or staff that you're working with to see interesting things. Like, someone is putting in a, a, a catheter, ask to assist or watch it or whatever. Someone's getting a pick line down the hall go and look at that pick line being inserted because it's pretty cool and you don't know how often you'll be able to see one. So clinical is not that intimidating. It is very interesting. Um, you are supposed to make the most out of your experience so that way you get the most experience um, and that's how you learn and grow. So yes, clinical is not intimidating y'all. Don't don't overthink it. First day, you might have jitters. The night before, you might not be able to sleep. I still sometimes can't sleep before clinical, but it's only because I know I have to get up super early. So, but yes, don't don't be nervous, y'all. They know your students, as far as your clinical faculty, they know your students, they're there to help you, you know, all of those good things. The next thing that I wish I knew before starting nursing school. So, we know that nursing school is critical thinking. You know, you're thinking like a nurse, how to help a patient. Um, as far as learning material, you can't just read the textbook and think that you're gonna get it because critical thinking is like application-based. So you are going to be doing a lot of practice questions. You're gonna be reading a lot of their rationales so that way you can understand why the correct answer is the correct answer. And you're gonna learn from that. You're gonna also learn from uh, practicing on your clinical group mates because doing, it gets stuck into your head and then you retain that information, you're able to apply it on the exam in the hospital with your patients. So yes, practice questions will be your best friend. I, just for foundations and assessment, I'm in the thousand, I think I'm in the 2000s now. I'm gonna insert pictures so you guys can see how many questions I've done for each class already just based off of the assignments and then a practice question studying for the exam because y'all, it's ridiculous. Like, but I will say they're very helpful, especially when you have great resources, the rationales are always excellent. The next thing that I wish I knew is nursing school and I'm pretty sure I like thought this but didn't really fully understand nursing school is pretty time consuming um between going to clinical which is going to take up your whole day you have assignments to do from clinical assignments for your classes and then you still have to you have exams that are coming up that you have to study for while doing clinical and your assignments. So, I mean, you just gotta learn how to balance them all. What I do is do one class at a time. Um, 
I know you probably shouldn't do this, but I wait until one class exam is finished to move on to the next class because I it I can't mix studying for my classes for whatever reason. I don't know. It just hasn't worked for me yet. And also, I only have one clinical this semester. Next semester, I will have two. Granted, one is only like a few weeks versus the other semester, just the whole semester. But you have to learn how to juggle all of those extra things with nursing school and or with clinical, I'm sorry. And you still have a life outside of nursing school or you should have a life outside of nursing school. You have to learn how to balance those things. So um, I know it would be time consuming, but I just didn't know how time consuming, which leads me into the last thing that I wish I knew. It can be very stressful trying to juggle those things. So it is important for you to take care of yourself and do self care, reward yourself for little things. You did your exam. You might not have got the grade you wanted. You might have whichever reward yourself because you worked super hard. Um, it is very important to take care of yourself, you guys. I My self care is literally just either I take a nap or I go out to my favorite restaurant and just go eat watch netflix like i just chill that's my self-care or i'll take an entire day off and just not do anything that's just me though self-care can be anything you want it to be honestly um anything that is away from school work or anything your brain needs a break so it's important that you give the break that the brain needs so i think that is everything that I wrote down that I wish I knew before starting nursing school. Um, I could be leaving out some things, but those are my top, I think that was five or six. Um, yes, because it is hard, but I am liking it. And as I'm ending my first semester, I will say, I'm looking forward to second semester. Like, and I'll do an entirely different video on like, my recap of the semester and things that are going to be happening in J2, which is second semester um, after our Christmas break. But yes, that is the end of this video. I know it was super quick. I just wanted to get this out there because I like watching these videos because um, they're almost very informative. So yes, and today actually, because I'm in my scrubs, it was our last clinical day. So that was great. I don't have to wake up early in the morning for the rest of the semester. And yeah, so, and our clinical instructor is so sweet and so great. I'm so sad that she's only staying in J1. She does not want to move up, which is fine, but she is like phenomenal. Like, and she got us um, nothing but cakes. And she got us cards with a little keychain. It looks like this. She got us that with the card. And then she got us like stickers. You know, I had to get the black girl ones. And then it's on my computer, but I put these on there. So I was like, how cute. Like, she's the best. So, yes, that is all. The only thing I have left to do today is going to the NICU to volunteer at 7. I'm excited about that. But for now, I am just going to chill because I've been up since 5.30 this morning. So, and we did get our clinical freaking two hours early today. So, I was really happy about that. Um, but yes. Let me stop rambling. That is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching if you have made it this far. And I will see you guys in my end of semester recap. Bye.